This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Right, so I have this gig coming up tomorrow, and there's a daytime duo um, playing with a band that I've not actually played with before. Um, so the daytime duo is going to be like two acoustic guitars and this chap singing. And then the evening, I did this kind of chatting through some of the set list on a video that I did about uh, how much I get paid for gigs and like the process and that sort of stuff. Um, but there's a few songs on there that I've not really done before, and also. A few songs on it which are a bit um have a bit more in the way of like actual effect on them so for instance there's uh somebody told me by the killers which kind of deserves a bit of flanger and then dakota deserves a bit of flanger and it kind of got me thinking i my my rig has been because i've not really been doing hardly any depth gigs hardly any gigs anyway for a while but before i wasn't doing many depth gigs and i think this was my board that i was taking out right so um an HX Stomp, which was running the Grammatico GSG kind of Dumble clean. Um, and then this had my two delays on it, essentially. That's the HX Stomp, and that was running to front of house. And then there's a split off that would go to my amp. And I have kind of just drives and a compressor in front. And since there's that need, right, I need a flanger or certain different effects, as well as the, the keys are a little bit somewhat in question so it's feeling like it might be a scenario where at the end of the day i might need to change key on the fly pretty quickly i just felt like i haven't used this board in a while either so it, it feels like my first gig back for a while i might f end up forgetting something um and one of the things that i think i don't know 
we kind of think about the, the helix as being large, but actually when I, when you really get down to it, the footprint here is like the same pretty much as my pedal board, right? But the one positive as well on top of that is that I'm not going to have any issues, which you sometimes get with um, kind of leads pulling in or out. Um, that did happen on the last gig where I think there was some sort of loose connection. And not only that, I have had a, another gig last year where I forgot my HX Stomp power supply. And luckily in my bag, I have loads of uh, IEC cables. So if that were to happen with the Helix, I'd be fine. I'll be taking this board as my backup, but I'm thinking I'm gonna use the Helix for basically the reasons that I want to be using something that I don't have to really worry about. Um, I want to be using something where it's one foot switch to, to make things happen. And I also want something that's pretty flexible as I go. And it's gonna be a venue where I don't know how much front of house volume they're gonna allow us to have. So my normal kind of amp might not be the best bet for that either. So the Fender FR, FR is gonna go with me. Uh, the reason I like this is because I could just literally plug the headphone output of the Helix into this and it's worked pretty seamlessly. It's, it's sounding good, it's sounding fine. It's good to go. Yeah, I don't know. One, I, I did I've enjoyed going back to a real amp in some ways, but just plugging in again to the Helix and just trying it with one kind of foot switch doing a lot of changes. I have basically four snapshots. I'll show you through this live preset that I've put together for this gig and I'll put it in the cover band presets folder if you want to check it out. Um, it's just so convenient. And uh, I was chatting with my buddy Jake because uh, this Fender amp here and my Fender amp, they, they, they just have issues for some reason and they're heavy. Um, and you think, right, well, I don't really have that problem with the Helix. It's, it's just, I don't have to worry about it. It will either work or it won't. Um, hopefully it will. Uh, so I'll show you through the setup. I think it's, uh, I did see someone on uh, the, the Facebook group as well talking about you know, they've got a kid, they've got less time. And so thinking about changing platforms, thinking about changing pedal boards, when actually maybe your time might be better spent learning the set. Like my Helix presets sound good for what I'm doing, I think. Um, it makes sense for me, especially on a gig where there's quite a lot of unknowns, stick to something safe. Where are my glasses? Yeah, the way that I've got my Helix set up is that I have snapshots along the bottom. I have my four basic snapshots, a clean lead for solos, rhythm, and then a, a preset on the right, which is like dotted. The other thing that I do is I put my main kind of preset down here. So this has got like a normal kind of HX stomp chain. And I leave the top free so that I can add in stuff up there if I need to, like pitch or whatever. So I got my clean. My dotted, and it's all set in mono because I found that that works a bit better live you don't get summing issues. Then I got my rhythm. And two kind of gain stages that we can put in front if we want, the Hedgehog D9 the heavier version and then uh, air apparent which is like a blues breaker <laughs> um, and then even on the clean I can add in some bits and pieces like that and then my solo <laughs> OK, 
okay and as i press this button over here so i guess i'll just leave it in like rhythm um we've got uh, a few different bits and pieces that i've added in so flanger which is going to be useful for that sort of thing. Um, what I can do, and this is kind of just one of the things that I love about the Helix, just look how easy that is. And now on my main page, because I, it, for this particular gig, I think the flander is going to be more useful than the phaser. I can just swap that around to be the front page, press save, and that's so, so simple. Um, and, you know, that sort of thing really could be the sort of thing that you need to do on a gig quickly. And you think, well, could I do that on any other device as quick as that? The answer for me is definitely not. Definitely not. Changing all of those assignments between two, two foot switches like that would just take ages. And I think this is... I had a question in my mind, like, if not the Helix, then what? And it's kind of just one of those things where it just makes most sense for me on a gig where I've got some unknowns, take something which I know really well, and if I don't have loads of time, the Helix is, is really great for this for me. Um, I think on this path here, I should have enough juice to do even like poly capo if I needed to. Um, so if I need to do on the fly kind of transposition, I can do that sort of thing, and that's that's why I like to keep this path somewhat free, um, because part of the reason the Helix is appropriate for this sort of thing is that I can add in loads of other effects. I don't have to buy a new pedal for a board or anything like that. It's kind of all in here. And um, yeah, so that's kind of the preset that I'm going to be using is a modified version of one of my others. But that's essentially what I'm thinking. Um, you know, there's some George Ezra tunes. I'm going to be doing this sort of thing. And I just think it's easier for me to, to get my head around doing this in the modeling world than um, involving a real amp again. So it, I've, I kind of switch back and uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Are you someone who switches things a lot? I think normally if I'm playing with the same band over and over, the gear can be a way that you can help keep things a little bit interesting. But when you're really worried about just getting the job done right, I think the Helix makes a lot of sense for me here. And I'm going to need something to do the acoustic set with as well. The Helix makes most sense. So just want to do a little video on that. Um, the cover band presets uh, is where you'll find all of these presets if you're looking for them. And I'll catch you in another video scene soon, scene soon. Um, that's just what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Cheers for stopping by.